Hello, everyone, and welcome to Economic Insights with Audrey Whittington and Danielle Hale, Chief Economist at Realtor.com. Today, we have sort of what I think of as the question that's on everybody's minds. When is the best time to list your home? Yeah, absolutely. If you're thinking about selling your home, you want to maximize your time absolutely. on market. So the answer is the first week of April. First week of April. Okay. Now, does the data support that or is it just that we know that the markets are hot in the spring and the fall per schools and such like that? Yeah. So what you hear about the hot market in the spring is in fact true. We looked at a variety of data points. Um, we were considering price, time on market, uh. number of buyers that are looking at listings, competition from other sellers. And when you balance across those data points, the first week of April is the best time to list on a nationwide basis. So you're probably going to get more money, right? I mean, in April, that's the bottom line. You get more money than you do at the beginning of the year. It's actually not the peak price time. Uh. Um, the peak price time comes a bit later in the year, right. later in the spring. But you're less likely to need to cut your price if you list uh. in April. If you wait too long to list your home, you might start off with a very high listing right. price, but you might have to cut your price because there are fewer buyers later in the mar later in the year in the housing market. Got it. Very smart. Now, let me ask you another question. What about area? I mean, is it different geographically? Some areas do fluctuate, some areas don't. The weather's different in different areas, so do tell. Yeah, so weather plays a role, so do the number of retirees versus families uh, in a market. Mm -hmm. um, there's a pretty wide range if you look across the top 50 sure. markets. San Diego's got the earliest, best week to list. It's in late February. Oh. Miami's got the latest. It's all the way in early August. Oh, interesting. But in general, first week of April is the nationwide average. And then if you look across markets between March and May, is and the best time some markets list. probably aren't seasonal at all, right? I mean, they're just really... To your point about retirees, like maybe Scottsdale or something like that, it's pretty flat, right? Right, yeah, you see less, I mean, you still see, I mean, there are still families in those markets and that yeah. can be enough to drive trends, but yeah. um, some markets are much more strongly seasonal than others. Okay, I'm aiming for April if I want to sell my home, so. Yeah, that's right, and remember, it takes some lead time, so yeah. you gotta, you know, find yourself a real estate agent, yeah. get your house ready for sale. Um, so to list in the first week of April, you might want to start thinking about it Really Even in a January, bit yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So get through the holiday season and then start planning. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's super helpful. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah. This is Audrey Whittington at Danielle Hale for Economic Insights. We hope you'll check out some of our other videos online. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like or subscribe to our channel for more real estate content.